Hi ho YouTube. I am um, I want to show you my stuff I got at Daiso. Um, any of you who watched the live hangout I did with Leanne Live, you probably would have seen this stuff already. But um, I got so much of it that I've decided to break it out into a couple different videos. The first one I'm going to show you is the craft stuff. And the craft stuff is absolutely wonderful. Um, so, in no particular order, here we go. This thing, it's called Cute Holic. Darling name. And what it is is a scrapbook. Get down that way. It's a scrapbook um, bound with the lovely little, you know, these little things that you can open it up with. And it's it's black um, construction paper kind of insides. So you can do all sorts of wonderful craft things um, inside it. Um, it's a very heavy paper. It looks like it will um, last for a while. It's got a real pretty inside cover, so you can do all sorts of neat stuff with this. $1.50. Uh, um, just about everything there is $1.50. They do have more expensive items as well um, because they have um, really nice, high quality stuff. Um, everything from, it, like a dollar store, you know, makeup and cleaning supplies and junk foods and craft stuff and all that. But they have a lot more of it and they have huge selection of things like. Um, um, organization stuff, uh, little deals to put um, like your craft supplies, scrapbooking supplies, kitchen stuff, makeup, all sorts of things. Just overwhelming. The place is overwhelming. So I'm looking forward to my next trip uh, to a Daiso store. Um, they have a lot of them here in California, although the nearest one to me is probably about two hours away and um, two and a half hours away maybe. Um, so the next time I go, I'm going to go with a list. So I'm prepared to know what I'm looking for. I was just grabbing stuff and shoving it in the basket this time. I was in, I was having a seizure. <laughs> so anyway, here's the first thing. It's darling. Um, the next thing, I got three of them. Uh, they came in three different color schemes. I thought they were really cute. And they're these little um, pocket uh, organizer things you can hang in your closet. And there are, let's see, two, four, six pockets. Six? Yeah, six pockets in these. It came in this lovely blue print with a little polka dot edge. It came in this white background with the pink roses. Real cute. And it also came in this uh, white background with kind of a little multicolored ditzy flower print. Okay, you know what I was thinking? If you were going to do real special, because these are $1.50 each, if you were going to do real special pocket letters, something really cool, this would be neat because you could put all your pocket stuff in, you know, in these six pockets, and then you could wrap it up like so and do some kind of special tie. You could have, put ribbons or something in these holes and tie it, and it would make a darling little um, pocket letter, particularly because... You know, you'd put stuff that they could use, you know, your friends could use in there. And then when they were done, they could hang this up in their closet. So um, I'm thinking I may use these for pocket letters. I'm going to I'm going to explore that. I haven't done pocket letters yet, so I will. Um, I'm going to experiment with that. Um, I got some yarn, um, just it's cotton lace yarn. It's pink with a glitter in it, and I thought it would be fun. I've been making those little skull appliques, and it would be fun to make them out of this stuff, little pink skull. What you barking about, darling? In addition to that, for crochet, I got these wonderful ergonomic um, crochet hooks with the little handle down at the bottom. These things are so expensive if you get them from like Joann's or Michael's. Again, um, dollar fifty so that was a great deal and um, I just love these and I can never have enough crochet hooks in multiple sizes in addition to that I got some marvelous lace trim and I really like this I'm going to see if I can show it to you a little more closely um, I'll just take it out of its little thing um, I thought that this was very beautiful very kind of high quality um, sort of a uh, crocheted look, you know, kind of a machine, sort of a machine crocheted 
look. So I thought that was real pretty. Um, I don't know, there's a few yards on this. I don't know how many. Probably about, oh, it looks like maybe three yards or so on this. And the packaging is really cute. I mean, just look at how darling this is. You know, if you're a real scrounge like I am, you're going to cut up that ba that packaging and use it in something, you know. Um, you could always take your little things that make hearts or flowers or whatever, your little punches, and you could, you could use this background to punch out, you know, little things. So, you know, I'm, I'm a sucker for great packaging. Then I got, I got two of these. I'll just show you one. What they are is they're little, um, um, kits for making, let's see if you can see it, making little, um, necklaces with, uh, oh, like you put a picture inside here, and they give you pictures, but you could put your own, and then there's little charms as well, and you hang it all on this, this little lanyard thing and make a little necklace, so I thought that was real cute. I got two of those, and they were are identical. Then I got me some stickers. I love putting stickers on packages. Any of you guys who've gotten packages from me, you know that. So I got some crocodiles and some butterflies, which I just love. I think they're beautiful. And these are kind of puffy. And then some darling little crowns. So, was that it? Yeah. Oh, no. I also got flowers and ladybugs. Yeah, flowers and ladybugs. So, that'll be fun to use. And also, this stuff can be put in those pocket letters as well. Um, I found some marvelous ombre embroidery floss. I'm sure it's probably uh, for making friendship bracelets is probably why you would buy it in this kind of packaging. Um, although they do show you some embroidery stitches on the back. I liked it because it was... Um, in colors that I, I mean, I've seen these colors out there before. I just never bought them, and for a buck fifty, I thought, yeah, that's a, that's a nice thing to have in the arsenal of embroidery floss. I also got, oh, I'll show you these first. These are charms, as you will see. Um, and really interesting. This is uh, birds, bird cages, um, bows, and I think little clocks. This has uh, crowns, um, shamrocks, little roses, and I think a little key. This one has bird cages, cameras, fans, I think a thimble down there, no, a lock, and then some scissors. This one has Bicycles, anchors, Eiffel Towers, and I think little bows. And this one is little minis. Um, they have some of those same in minis only and, all, and also with some little hearts in the center. So I just thought these were the cutest things in the world. I just loved them. I have a ton of charms. I mean, like, thousands and thousands and thousands of charms. But these were charms I didn't have any of, so I thought these would be fun to, to mess with. Um, in addition to that, I got me some origami paper. I just love origami paper. It's so beautiful, and you can get it in so many different uh, styles now. This particular paper is very traditional looking, um, and I'm just going to kind of so there's this pattern and this pattern and this pattern and last and probably my favorite is this pattern. So I guess what is that? That's four or five different patterns. Um, so that'll be fun. Again, this stuff is, would be fun to use in pocket letters. You could make, you could cut it up and put a supply, you know, for people to use in their own crafting. Um, so that would be kind of cool. And then the last thing I bought that is um, um, craft oriented really isn't craft oriented. What they are, they're felt coasters, 
And I thought, man, I think there's six of them. They're foam. They call them felt, but they're really, they're a felted foam. They're the same on both sides. They've been laser cut. And I thought something like this would make a great stamp. You could use it as a stamp. Um, you could use it as a three-dimensional element in your crafting and your scrapbooking. Um, you could use it as a coaster, of course. Um, gosh, there's just, you know, there's all kinds of stuff you could think of to do with these things. So, and they had a number of different um, designs. I liked this one because this was kind of the laciest and most girly of all the designs that I had seen. And it had the most intricate cutouts, so I thought it would make a nice stamp. So anyway, that's that. That is, that is the sum total of my craft haul. And in addition to the craft haul, I am going to be doing a kind of a, just a general odds and ends haul for you too. So stay tuned for that one. Bye.